so here we have opened a pattern window and we are going to do a simple problem a cantilever beam and a point load at the uh, at the end and uh, you know fixed at the other end obviously so we are going to do a linear static analysis so first create a new database uh, make sure you give a good name once you enter your name uh, press ok and uh, it will take some time and it will get the uh, in pattern interface ready and here you can just uh, press ok and now here we have our uh, window and now uh, uh, first uh, go to geometry and first we have to create a geometry for our uh, cantilever beam so basically we are going to create a curve uh, that will be the cantilever beam so here we can go to click uh, create uh, instead of point you, you click on curve and uh, method you can type xyz so basically the Mm, uh, uh, we are going to give a, a curve of uh, this much length so the, ori the origin will be at 0 0 0 and the length of the cantilever will uh, give it as 1000 mm and uh, click apply and you will see your curve has been created and it will be 1000 mm long and now what we have to do is uh, go to properties and here you can see isotropic so click on this and here you can see create isotropic manual input uh, now go to material name and uh, type uh, steel and uh, click on input properties and here uh, in an, uh, in elastic modulus you can type uh, 210,000 uh, that is 2, 1 and uh, 4 zeros poison's ratio of uh, 0 0.3 and now uh, click on apply so here you can see in this uh, in this window um, material dot create so that material has been created and it is its name is steel as you can see here and if you just uh, scroll you can see that its elastic models and poisons ratio has values of 210,000 and 0.3 respectively and now you can go to uh, one dimensional properties you have to now you have created material and the next step is to create uh, uh, properties so here one dimensional beam property you will be giving so here you have create one dimensional beam and now in in, in property uh, you just enter a name beam so we are going for a general section and standard formulation and input properties here we have to we don't have a property over here if you click here you can see that uh, the select existing beam section so there are no beams and we have to create a beam so to create section you have to click here and once you and once you click uh, you can choose some uh, basic shapes so what i will do is create a simple rectangular shape of width of uh, um, width of 50 and height of 50 and uh, we'll provide a new section name here So I'll be giving a square uh, as, as the name and now calculate or display so you can see an area of 2500 and the uh, respective properties are uh, shown here uh, let me close this and uh, once I will click apply and uh, uh, you, so this has been created you can see here exists so once you click apply uh, and now you click ok uh, just uh, yeah so now you can see that square section is there so once you click uh, that uh, one so once you go to the select existing beam section you can see square over here so uh, either you click here it here it is already selected now i have to choose a material name so we have already created the steel material which i will be selecting here and now the orientation of the bar the orientation of the bar i will give it as uh, 001 that is in the z uh, z axis so more about this will be in uh, another video so now i will click ok and in, in for the application region i will click on this curve now you see that the curve one has been selected now add so you can see in the application region this curve has been added now press ok and click on apply and you can see here that property set beam has been created so the property has been created now loads and boundary conditions so it is important to apply uh, the proper boundary conditions otherwise the analysis uh, would not run so here we have displacement constraint so uh, new set name so i will give it as fix uh, fix all so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to fix all the degree of freedom uh, at the left end uh, because this is a cantilever so application region i can uh, choose this uh, point 
so there is the, we have two points over here point one and point two so i have selected point one and now add so the point one has been added now i will click apply and we can see that one two three four five so the loader boundary condition set fix all has been created now uh, we need a force at the uh, at the free end so i will give it as uh, a force and, the, uh, and uh, the force value should be i will enter a force value of minus thousand uh, so minus thousand implies that the force will be in 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 the in the vertical direction in the negative uh, in the downward direction so click on application region here we have to select this point point to add okay and press apply so now you can see that we have a downward force of uh, thousand newton and so now we have to mesh this because uh, we now only have geometry but uh, what actually we need is uh, finite elements so here i will go to create mesh seed and uh, number of elements i will give uh, 10 elements 10 element is sufficient for this and i will click on this curve since we have auto execute uh, checked so now this has been um, the mesh seed has been created automatically and you can see here that mesh seed create has been done now now click on this option create now you have create mesh and uh, curve and now click on this uh, curve and no, no, now you have to click uh, on apply ah, now you can see that 11 nodes and 10 elements has been created so basically the, we have divided the uh, cantilever p into 10 uh, 10 parts 10 divisions and each division uh, so that division has been done by mesh seeding and in mesh uh, we actually create the actual elements so we have 10 elements and 11 nodes now we will go to analysis tab and in the analysis um, uh, choose the option analyze entire model full run and uh, make sure that here in solution type it is linear static enabled now click ok and now we can uh, um, uh, press uh, uh, okay you choose the option of analysis desk over here analyze entire model analysis desk and now uh, click on apply mm, yeah and uh, you can see that the translation has completed successfully and no analysis requested that means it has created the dot bdf file and uh, that you can see in the in its yeah so you can see here that uh, tutorial 1 1 uh, the dot bdf file has been created and in order to run this we need nastran so now go to start menu and uh, click on the nastran okay here i have opened the nastran and i have to choose the appropriate bdf file tutorial 1 1 and click on open and here i have the options to run it so it will run uh, so it will run so the analysis will be completed if if so if, if the, all the steps have been done appropriately the analysis will be completed successfully that means you have given proper uh, properties material uh, material properties and um, proper loads and boundary conditions a good mesh and uh, analysis parameters then analysis would have run properly now click uh, click on this option and choose access results attach hdf result and titles and uh, select result files or if if the, if the job name is uh, here then you can directly press apply otherwise you click on the result file browse the result file and then uh, click on apply then you can see here that uh, end attach result file so the result file has been attached successfully so once it has been attached successfully then you can go to this result tab over here and then you can see choose your result case and then uh, you can choose your uh, displacement of translation so this will give the fringe result so once you apply you can see that um, you can see let me change the background for better visibility and yeah so here you can see that uh, yeah here you can see the displacements are red in color so here we have higher displacement and here we have blue color represents a lower uh, uh, blue color represents lower and uh, red color represents a higher displacement so this fringe results basically shows that um, shows the range of uh, the displacements and now we can choose uh, deformation results select deformation results so once you click on this option you can see this is the this is the undeformed uh, geometry and this is the deformed uh, uh, model so here you can see that the free end has been deformed and uh, the magnitude of deformation is shown here the maximum 3.05 at node 11 so at the end we have node 11 so that uh, yeah similarly we can also see the bending um, stresses so 
so here what is now shown here is uh, I'll switch off this uh, displacements yeah. now what we see here are the bending stresses so here we have a lower stress and here we have higher stresses so you can see red color so red color represents 4.48 48, 48 uh, MPa as the bending stress and there is a very easy way to understand the bending stress for that we'll go to create instead of cube plot uh, choose the option graph and uh, now it's in in the select nodes select all these nodes so you can see here node 1 is to 12 with selected now go to the results and make sure you use the uh, the bar stress bending one with stress is selected now click on apply now you can see the graph has been created and you can see that uh, the, the so this represents the fixed end of the cantilever and this represents the free end so the bending stress at the free end is zero and at the fixed end uh, it is the maximum so in order to understand in order to uh, uh, you know understand it better i will switch on the symbols show symbols so now if you look at it uh, you can see that uh, these each of these uh, points each of these points corresponds to uh, one particular node in the geometry so here we have a node that uh, uh, if you click on this button uh, so you can see that each of these red color dots represent one node and those nodal results is what you are seeing here similarly you can also see if, uh, for displacement so here i have chosen create graph uh, displacements now once i click apply what you're seeing here is the displacement plot so you can see here that at the free end we have a displacement of uh, uh, somewhere around um, between 3.3 .3 and 2.7 and at the fixed end we have zero displacement as we want so this is a simple uh, analysis uh, a simple linear static analysis of a cantilever beam uh, fixed at one end and a concentrated lot at the free end thank you for watching uh,